Hi, so I'm Jonathan Cohen uh, from NVIDIA, and uh, what we're showing today is um, deep learning applications running uh, on the NVIDIA Drive PX, which is this board here. Uh, so deep learning is a, uh, it refers to a, a, a set of machine learning algorithms, which are algorithms for learning, uh, teaching a computer how to understand the world around it. So um, what we're showing here is uh, analysis of images. So these are videos taken from um, cameras we placed in cars. Uh, and we're playing the video back, but we're actually processing the image, uh, these video feeds live. Um, and the way that uh, a neural net works is you show it lots of example images. So, so we drove around and we captured lots of video footage of cars and SUVs and trucks and sports cars. Um, we labeled all these images by hand. Uh, we generated about 100,000 training examples about 20,000 sedans and 15,000 SUVs and so on. Um, and we, we showed these all to this neural network uh, and then a process called training. The neural network somehow learns to recognize the patterns in, in uh, these different classes. So somehow it learns that a car looks like this and a truck looks like this and an SUV looks like this. And, and the reason this is called deep learning is um, neural networks are some kind of model, uh, computational model for what's happening in the human brain. Um, and the way the brain is organized is there's several layers of neurons, and a neuron um, basically uh, records some kind of activity, which is then connected to the next layer of neurons, which is connected to the next layer of neurons. Um, and, and what deep learning refers to, or a deep neural network refers to, is when you deeply stack. So you have many, many layers deep of, of, of what are called neural net layers. Uh, and the reason why this is so powerful is, is it allows the machine to learn uh, what's called a hierarchical representation. So in the first layer it might look for edges and in the next layer it might look for collections of edges that form angles and the next layer it might look for patterns of these collections and then after five or six layers maybe it's learned the concept of a wheel and a wheel is a, an edge like this and 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 so on. Um, and, and it somehow just learns this because you've shown it so many images it's able to learn these these concepts built up out of simpler and simpler concepts and, and that's what we we're talking about when, when we're talking about deep learning or deep neural networks. So what we're showing um, in, in this demonstration is a, a very challenging image recognition task. Uh, we're detecting vehicles in the frame. So this is an HD camera uh, that we've mounted in a car. We're playing the video back uh, live and, and computing on it live uh, at 30 frames a second. So we're detecting vehicles that we think are uh, we're detecting things that we think are vehicles, and then we're showing them to this neural network that we've trained to recognize the different types of vehicles. So here, it sees this car and it thinks it's a police car because it looks like a police car, because it looks like other things that it's shown us. Um, and you can imagine how useful it is when you're driving your car to be able to uh, understand the, the types of vehicles that are around you. Um, emergency vehicles, I mean, this is kind of a fun example. He's about to pull us over here. but. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, but you can see, imagine all sorts of, of really important safety applications. Like we could we could recognize a car with a car door that's open. Um, we could recognize emergency vehicles. We could recognize that there's a very large truck to our left, so maybe we don't want to change lanes and cut it off. Uh, this sort of thing. Um, what we're showing. Well, I, I don't. I want to let him pull us over because it's kind of fun. Yeah, there we go. So now we're in trouble. Um, <laughs> What we're showing on, on, on the right over here um, is another application also using neural networks. Um, we're detecting, so this is actually showing driving, this is in the UK, at night in the rain. It always rains in the UK. Um, and even in these adverse weather conditions, we're detecting um, some really important things for any kind of safety system. Uh, we can detect brake lights from cars. Um, we can detect these, uh, what's called matrix signs, which are these speed limit signs um, that are LED based. Uh, they're actually very challenging to read. As we get closer, I'll show you why that is. Um, so the LED signs, they refresh at uh, I think 60 frames per second. Our camera is 30 frames per second. And as a consequence, these signs, um, they kind of shimmer. If I kind of pause it, you can kind of see they're, they're brighter and darker. And they're actually very difficult to read because of that. But because this is a neural network, we've showed it lots of examples of these 40 uh, 40 mile an hour limit speed signs with all these kind of different things happening and somehow it's learned to recognize the speed sign even though uh, it, it hasn't seen these signs before. And so this is the power of neural networks and the power of deep learning and that's what we're demonstrating here.